What's up everyone? This is Aya. Welcome to my fourth tutorial on iCode Go. So like I said earlier, today we're going to be talking about how to create um, a PHP code that will submit the file to the database. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to create a new PHP code. Um, but before we do that, you know we've added this to check if the database was connected and now we'll see that it's connected so we don't need this so that we don't receive it as an error letter white program so we're gonna be deleting it so if you still have yes there you can go ahead and delete it it's not needed all we need is just this error maybe it doesn't connect for one or two reasons it's gonna give us this error so that's all that's type of save now we need a new PHP code. So what I'm gonna name this um let's say okay I'll name my submit submit dot php don't forget to put the file extension so now let's that this code is somehow though it's not that many they want to scale it away so first what we need is um, we're gonna include the first file that we created that was DB connect we're gonna include it into this code so we can use require once we can say require once which is this or you can say include include see that include words or include anyone you wish so this one we're going to be using required there's no difference in that just what I show you so required ones which is a remember is some um, single single quotes not um, double quote so db sorry what's the name of mine is um db con dot php then edit with semicolon so what this code does is um when this code is um maybe you lost this code this code one of you it it will include this automatically which is a DB connect automatically into this code just like um, me coding uh, a database connection file and creating the form and everything together in one line of code and maybe I'm gonna be needing this code in many um, other uh, pages web page and I don't need to be coding the same thing DB connect creating a db host, db name, db user, that's gonna be a waste of time. So what you do is just create it in a new file then require it in any, any page you want it. So right now I want it in um, this page which is creating a form. Submit the form. So that's why I said um, I should require it here. It's just like coding the same thing. So now that was pretty much time. Let's go to the main point. So now, first we need um, we need to create a variable for first name. Can name it F name. Can name it first name. Depend on you. So I don't want to waste more space. I name my F name. Set it equals to strip. underscore tags it's a building function then underscore post I like using capital letter I don't know why so I don't know about you so this um, first name so this name we're gonna be putting right here is it must be the same as your as the one on your database 
if the one in your database take the the first letter to be capital F that means the one here should be capital F if it is small f that means the ones here it should be small f so make sure it's correct because it's kid sensitive so your first name this is the same as the one I have in my database then edit edit to semicolon copy all the way most time on this so just copy copy then paste paste again paste again oh. <laughs> paste again so what feed how many feed will we have in on the database it's like we're having a name the first name last name email password and yeah password which is first name last name email and password which is um four feed so we're gonna be removing one from here So now this one is F name. This one is um last name. This one is not case sensitive, so you can use any one you want. It's just a variable, but this one is case sensitive. So last name is gonna be the same as the one on your database. Last name email. Same thing is case sensitive. Make sure every feed here is the same as the one in your database so that I don't receive error later. So now we need a password. Password. Okay. I will still need to change this in case we want to use it later. This is equal to email. then this equals to can just say pass which is password then so now we need another code just assume this is done we need another code so it's gonna be first name as well same thing as this one but it's not gonna be strip tag first name equals to your connection to the database which is uh, mine is db i don't know about yours capital db con then Re escape so what this one does is that it makes sure that forms which is um the the database have the fraud which is let's say for example your user filling a form and maybe there was network error or something has happened and they thought you have created the the account so this one, this line of code will make sure that the feed and everything is is submit to the database. So it escape any, let's say, any abstract code, and input it in your database, so that you just have empty space on your database. Because if there's empty space, that means a hacker can just use that method and hack your site. So this real escape is very essential. I can say it's needed, but 
Simon does say Glasscape underscore string. So guys here we need um some variable which is um for F name. F name so just go ahead and copy this copy paste Because like I'm, I want there's a mistake. We need a semicolon to end this. Oh, oh. okay. So this we need to change this to last name, which is L name. Then this as well. L name. This one is Imi. Then password as well as this. Password. So now is done and we're gonna we're going to the other line of code so this code we're gonna be creating a we're gonna be creating a variable called sql oh, sorry sql and set it equal to with uh, this so what this does is um it starts the data which is your name, the first name, last name, Amy, and the other one, it is started into the database. So that means you can say this one is the real guy here because it does the work. But it's not gonna work without the rest code. So don't think this is more important. All the codes are important. So now we say insert, you know that's always in capital letter. If you if your code starts with um um, SQL so insert into into what's the name of your database because mine is user I mean your table not database this time around because we already got that open so insert into user then this one which means we start all these codes here into the user, which is the first name, which is f name and name I, the variable you just created, then comma, the last name, last name, oh sorry, l name, then email. And password password oh okay so now come right here let's just give it a space and give it value 
value that we're gonna insert it is this the same thing as um the one up there so don't get confused bracket f name comma l name sorry in the dollar sign what's wrong it's like i got error here what's wrong okay there's no problem let's keep on moving it will be sorted out later so yeah i got error i need it quotes single quotes at the end then comma come here he may he may then single quotes comma Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not gonna be Amy, it's gonna be last name. I'm making a mistake again. So sorry about that. This is last name, then you Amy. Then the last one, which is password. password just because it's finished okay oh, we need just one here not two so it's now done now let's close it with semicolon okay so we need an if statement to check if this thing really connected uh, if this really connects so we need an if statement so let's go ahead and step if if um if db connect Sorry, need the bracket. If DB connect, if DB con, what's wrong? If DB con <laughs> is true, um, I uh, query. Query SQL variable SQL equals to true. So what this does is um it tell the it check the database and it says um if the database connection really query um it is query the SQL and is equal to true that the whole code is right then um, what we're gonna do is give it a location which is um maybe the person have signed up and everything is true now what you're gonna do is give it a header or you can give it a location but my i will use header double quote location location mm, 
community Pull them down let's say mine is login login page you know the user have created um, an account with you and the account was created successfully now what do you want again okay take it to take the user to login page which is login.php you know we've not created this but anyways maybe we're gonna create it if it's not now maybe in my next tutorial so now if this connection is true and everything is okay now take the user to login page which is the location as if there's an error f s is if there is an error echo there was an error just wanna make everyone capital letter there was an error Why creating your account? Creating your account. Change it to capital letter. It's not necessary. I just want to change mine. So if you want to change it, you can change it. If you don't want to know, change it, you can as well leave it. So there was an error. Why creating your account? creating your account so I think that's all so now let's check if our code is right or wrong so now what we're gonna do is um, you know this file was created on tester page and right now our database and the rest are not on data uh, on test page so what we need is we're gonna create a file for it and move everything there. Let's check on our folder so that we don't receive error while trying to run the code. So we look at the document root folder. You can see these are my code anyway, but um let's see okay, I know where it's gonna be. Just click on this internal uh, internal storage then um, i could go here is it temp hmm wait a minute wait a minute let me open this and see hmm. our db connect is still here so what we need to do now is um Take this temp. There's a way of moving this. I don't know if I'm really getting confused right now. To be connect. Let's see if I've got it here. Is not here. So no need to worry yourself. What we need to do is um just create uh, a folder for it, which is on my folder. Let's see. Mm, okay, let's say for example it's your website. Then uh, type www dot play game dot com. Now create the folder and now what we're gonna do is this is a folder play game and there's nothing inside yet so we need to take in the which is this guy here 
need to move it to this table um sorry this folder play game now select this move successfully now let's open and see what we got inside okay kind of database but first we need to change the name so the name should be changed 